Hello everyone, welcome to Vero Update. Thank you for joining us today. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get alerted anytime we post a new video. The real reason why the Catholic Church suspends Father Mbaka. The Catholic Diocese of Enugu has suspended Reverend Father EGK Mbaka from church activities for one month as the controversial priest political escapades continue to overshadow his theological obligations on a scale that notches unending concerns amongst his senior clerics. Mbaka was asked to proceed on suspension with effect from May 3rd after being summoned by Callistus Valentine Onaga, the diocesan bishop. Onaga called Mbaka in following his repeated clashes with President Muhammadu Buhari and warned that his conduct was smearing the church's image, the largest of any Christian organization worldwide. Church officials familiar with the matter told the Gazette. Sahara reporters had reported last Wednesday's Mbaka's criticism of the Mohammed Buhari regime over its inaction on the widespread killings across the nation. Speaking at the Adoration Ministry in Nenugu, Mbaka said it is wrong for Buhari to remain grave silent despite the in season killings in the country. He accused the government of being behind several killings across the country and tagging separatist groups as terrorists rather than focus on getting them good jobs. The cleric also frowned on the activities of headers that destroyed the farmland of people without any repercussion. He said Buhari had failed Nigeria woefully and that he should resign now. Mbaka also called for the president's impeachment. Following his suspension, Mbaka returned to his ministry that lies not of the outskirts of Enugu city center where he subsequently incited his members against the bishop, sources said. Mbaka's followers claimed without evidence that he was kidnapped by Onaga and handed over to the state security service. They subsequently marched on the premises of the bishop on Wednesday morning, looting and destroying assets therein. The mob also descended on the Holy Ghost Cathedral, again looting and destroying items in the building. The members also went to town to allege that the SSS had arrested Mbaka, generating widespread media reports despite lacking requisite corroboration. A spokesman for the SSS denied taking Mbaka into custody or coming in any contact with him when reached by the Gazette, contrary to his followers' rumors. A spokesman for the diocese did not immediately return a request seeking comments. Mbaka's line was switched off when died by the Gazette on Wednesday night. Before falling out with Buhari recently, Baka was an ardent supporter of the president. He endorsed his campaign in 2015 and claimed his blessings played a role in its success. But as Buhari's regime failed to tackle acute poverty and insecurity, Baka said he was compelled to speak up and distance himself from his regime, describing it as evil and satanic and calling on the president himself to vacate office. 
Church sources said Mbaka's latest suspension was being viewed as significant for its undertone, but not the first time the Ferry priest would face administrative action. We know people will link this to his confrontation with Buhari, but he was once demoted from a parish priest to a deputy under a parish priest, a church official told the Gazette. He had also been transferred from bigger parishes to smaller ones for his frequent infractions in the past. Still, church officials admitted Mbaka's adoration ministry has been a cash cow for the Enugu diocese, even though it was built by Mbaka and not directly under its control. The real problem is the diocese has been financially dependent on Mbaka, collecting his millions, a source said, adding that some of the senior clerics themselves have also been in bed with politicians whom Mbaka has long railed against. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and above all, do subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos. Bye for now.